What is up guys, it's Chris and welcome back, finally back, to another video slash tutorial. Now, I had a problem uh, way back since I had a PS4 controller, way back, I'm Rocket League. Um, and the problem was that I have a PlayStation controller and I was seeing Xbox buttons on the screen, the controller, even the left, the left, uh, analog stick the right analog stick were all Xbox now today I'm gonna show everybody on how to fix that first you want to go to big picture mode and I'm actually show you if I alt tab to Rocket League uh, and you see my actually you can see my uh, there you go square all that stuff R2 bam so what you want to do you want to go to uh, make sure I'm still, you know, recording because, you know, that happens. Uh, go to your settings, um, and you guys will probably have PS4 configuration on and stuff like that. So I'm going to actually close Rocket League if I can. Close Rocket League. All right. No, Rocket League is closed. Um, you probably have that on or Xbox Confederation. Actually, let's try. Let's try and not do that. Um, generic gamepad support. All right, let's just unplug the controller. Plug back in or something like that. Now it shows PlayStation buttons, but if you open Rocket League, let's see. Let's see if it's if I'm right about this because I did have um this problem and I didn't know how to fix it. Then I was in somebody's stream, I was like, oh shit. He he doesn't even have the PS4 configuration on. So I was like, hmm, maybe the reason why is so the game automatically registers your your stuff. So let's see even if I did this right. Because I, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, yeah, see? Press A. I'm like... Wait. Wait. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Xbox buttons. Um, RT instead of R2. Um, so now, how to fix... And that's what place places in configuration on. So, what you do is close, it, close the game. And go back to big picture mode if you if you guys don't know how it's pretty simple. Um, you go to control settings um, and uncheck everything besides this. And then do this, do this. Load up Rocket League, and you'll see. And you you don't even have to be in big picture mode to do this. You can automate. You can close it or whatever, and you can be in regular Steam or you can be in big big picture and it'll still work. Now let's see if I did this right. Let's see. Skip, skip, and wait. Why do I have what? What? Uh, hello? What? What is this? Why do I have what? Hold on. I made a oopsie. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Control settings. Yep. Let's go back over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to unplug your controller. Plug it back in. So it can register. And then. Yeah, you do need to unplug your controller or else um, when you actually change the setting you need to unplug it and plug it back in like it said but I didn't read it um, now it should work and it should say square to create party that's how you automatically know that it works and boom there you go and now I'll uh, what I'll do I know you can't really see, but what I'll do is, um, there you go. What I'll do 
real quick is to close big picture and to show you that you don't even need to have be in big picture that's just to access the uh, the controller settings um, as a big picture uh, make sure I'm still recording hopefully okay that's just probably because I'm switching the game and then open Rocket League and it should still hold the uh, not hold but it should say square to um, create party and X to do shit yeah they have a button for that to do shit it's called X come on load yeah um I'm really glad that I found this not didn't find it but I'm really glad that you know I was able to do this and yeah, yeah there you go you don't even need to you know make a shift tab do all that jazz and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll link to, I'll have a link to overwolf in the description um, it allows you to um, view the players ranks and win skill rating gameplay you see it on the top for the blue team and the thing for the blue team and the orange team and you can press alt p yeah alt p to toggle from ones to twos to threes and to regular threes so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and there'll be more uh, not more tutorials i'm not no fucking tutorial channel but really wanted to bring this out there because this is essential like I mean if like I, it's just I, I was an Xbox player for so long so when I switched to PlayStation I was like I had a PS4 so I switched and it's just awkward to just see different controller settings than what you're actually using I have my, my buttons are blacked out but just the fact that it's just like I get so used to saying O, oh, A, or X, or Y, and then now I'm actually saying PlayStation. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you guys can like, comment, or do whatever. Say that it helped. Um, share with any. Share this video with any of your PlayStation friends that use Steam. And yeah, um, you guys uh, have a great day.